hello welcome to my channel once again once again there is this african-american who has moved from the u.s to ghana and she's living here with her family i think she has two kids one boy and one girl but there is something that she's facing in ghana and i want us to watch her video listen carefully to the story that she's given and tell me what you think about what she said when we come back to i will let you know what i think all the things that she said i understand why i felt like the incidents that had happened since i've been here with my kids um has a lot to do with the area that i live in and the mindset of the individuals in that area that we live in um there was an incident the very last incident was I'm going to explain it to y'all so y'all can get what I'm saying. I told it on live. My son, bas I basically gave my kids some money to go across the street and buy some cookies. So, my son knows how much money he has. He knows what he could buy with it. My daughter is sick. She doesn't. She got a biscuit or a, a, a cookie that was worth half of the money she had. My son explained this to her. And she told him, well, this is the other cookie that she want. So my son relays that to the lady at the store. The lady at the store grabs any biscuit, give it to my son. And immediately when she give it to my son, my son explains to her that um, this is the wrong biscuit. He was speaking about the other biscuit. She immediately, she pushes him and closes the store. My son comes to tell me me and the kids walk across the street by this time the son of the owner of the store is there open about to open the store and so i just tell him listen you take these biscuits you take both of these all these what they got give us our money back y'all won't have to worry about us no more because of x y and z this is what happened and that's fine it's no problem i seen the lady they showed me who the lady was didn't say anything to her you know because i'm deciding to let y'all have it cool Gave the kids the money back. I sent them to a different store. They went and got their stuff. And um, yeah, that, I mean, that would have been the end for us, right? Wrong. So the kids come back and let's say 30 minutes go by. They're outside in the middle of the street um, between the house and the store. This is not a big street. It's compared to like a dirt road. The roads are so bad cars are not coming up and down there so it's safe so don't worry about that they're in the middle of the street playing frisbee the lady makes it her business to come from outside of her house which is behind the store to come to my daughter and ask my daughter um did i beat him talking about my son so i'm guessing the son of the owner of the store went back to his mom his mom probably had a conversation with her so she came to my daughter and asked her did I beat him my daughter told her no you pushed him in response to that my daughter saying that which you know that's what she did the lady sucks her teeth and gives out the remark you people so at this point in time, yes, I did go out. I, it was some words that shit. Okay, we get that. So, it come to my, in my mind, I could not understand for the life of me. My children buying two cookies, buying cookies from a store can result in you basically assaulting my son. And then when you wanted to clarify, you give the response to you people. This is not the only situation to where us not being of natives here, that if there was an incident that the person would say something to specify that we're foreigners or something of that extent. So it's like, I'm coming up with, you don't like me because I'm a black American, I'm a foreigner. You don't like my kids because they're foreigners. But after talking to so many people, I come to the realization of it is a culture 
a cultural issue. And the issue being where age, it defines and it, it tells you how you're going to go about a situation. For example, in the situation with my son was in, he's a young, he's a young child. So him correcting her on the biscuit he's trying to buy for his sister was, I guess, taken as disrespect. And so she handled the situation as if, I guess, any other situation to where a younger person would disrespect her was to assault. Can I be upset with that? I mean, I get it. And I understand this is not the land in which we are grown and accustomed to. So I understand that. But then there's a huge issue. You come to my daughter, who's six years old, to try to gaslight her using the same, I guess the same type of thing to figure out if you're being respected or not, which is you ask the younger child and in your culture, that younger child would agree to what you're saying. When she clearly seen what you did, if it was a child of your culture from here, that child would say no, as if it did not happen, which is a lie. So the gaslighting part of it all is the issue and you expect it, I guess my child who is not from this culture to be afraid of something, of of you being an older, a, a older person and to just say, sorry, no. So with me, I'm letting you know as well. I had to let her know. Come out here. If you want to have an issue with somebody, you can have an issue with me. We can be of age. She might be older than y'all. I don't really, you know. But you put your hands on the child because he's trying to buy a biscuit. You see, now this is where we have an issue. And there's been incidents like this. And I can easily say, okay. Some people genuinely don't know better. Because at one point in time, she could have been the child she was the child and situations happen to where just because you're the, the child you're gaslit and you're discredited as the child and now that you're the older person now that you're the grown up you do the same thing but then you do this to people who are not of the culture and it's confusing like what is really the issue so I boiled it down to that. And it could not be she genuinely just don't like us or she don't like the, my kids or anything like that. It could be just she does not, she thinks the way that we were brought up was to disrespect people. And we don't know how to respect elders. And this is where the issue is happening. So. Can I say people are just not liking us because we're black American? It's tied into our upbringing of who we are. I'm not saying everybody, but just our upbringing of certain things we don't look at as disrespect. And people here, they do. So this is where you'll have issues now. Could it be because we're black American that we're brought up this way? Yes. So you know, it's now the, the line is very thin. It's like, you could like us because we're black American, but you don't like the way we were brought up. So, I mean, I'm going to leave that open for everybody to talk about. Even the fellow Ghanians that say I'm lying or whatever. Even though I didn't say anything, I got so many excuses to why I would be discriminated against. Even though, personally, nobody has come to me about my tattoo, but you justifying that I should be discriminated against. And that right there is telling me right now that statement could be alive and well, but y'all can let me know in the comments of how y'all feel and what y'all think about the situation. Or maybe 
am I getting let, like gaslit in this situation? Like, or am I overreacting in this situation? Y'all let me know in the comments. So we're listening to her clearly, clearly, as she herself, she stated in this story, everything that is happening is because of culture, like the difference in culture of how Americans basically were raised and Ghanaians, how they were raised. Listen, let me give you this. Every Ghanaian can relate to this. If you are a Ghanaian child and you kind of tell an elderly that she's lying, maybe she has said something and even if she's lying and you tell the elderly that she's lying, it's like a disrespect. And if the elderly also say something and you try to talk back at her, in Ghana or in Africa in general, we deem it as disrespect. And I feel she doesn't really, the mother doesn't know some of these things and the kids also do not know some of these things. And that is the reason why they are facing some of these problems. Listen, in, let's say in a community, if I am living in an area with my family and another family too, they are living in the same, like all of us are living in the same area. And me as a child, when I do something and that person who is not my mom or my dad, but lives in the same area sees that I have done something bad in our communities. Yeah. It is not a problem for that elderly person to punish me. Yes. It is not a problem for that elderly person to punish me of that particular bad thing that I've done. That is how it is in Ghana, in Africa, in our communities, they will punish you. They have every right, but the, here is the case. This is a different thing altogether. And I think the woman that pushed the kid didn't do well because one, you should know that these people are not from here. So they might not understand our culture. So the best thing is for you to do what, even if the child has done something, go, you know, the mother, so go to the mother and report the child to the mother, you know, but you, the elderly pushing a kid that was totally wrong. But that's what I said. I think she was applying our culture, normal, our culture that we, we see it as normal in Ghana to the kid. And that was like totally off, you know, this thing, you don't know, but it's culture. I recently came across this video from this African American lady that has been living in Ghana for a few months. I believe her name is Jen, Jerry and Jenny or something like that. She, I believe she's there with her children or her child. She made a video saying that she was being discriminated against by Ghanaians. So, and I made a comment asking what happened. She, you know, posted another video explaining the situation. Basically, um, she sent her child across the street to buy cookies and the lady gave her the wrong cookies and the, you know, her child pointed it out to the lady. The lady got upset and pushed her child. There's no reason to put your hands on anybody's child, even though they do it in Ghana all the time. For the most part, Ghanaians are really nice people, but there are mean and miserable people everywhere, including Ghana, and I've experienced it. So I'm not going to dismiss her situation. There are a lot of people in the comments dismissing and saying, well, you know, what are you talking about? Ghanaians are nice people. Yes, Ghanaians are nice, but there are also some mean people. Now, I just want to point some things out. Um, people that are moving to Ghana and not aware of the culture, there are little things like very, very little things that were used over here that could trigger people. Example is like if you call an elderly person out, <laughs> they get upset because uh, how dare you, especially if you're really young, like a child and you're calling somebody out. It, it could have been that, you know, the lady didn't like the way the child called her out on, you know, the, giving her, him or her the wrong cookies and, you know, that made her upset or um, she handed the cookies back with her left hand. Just little things that we may not be aware of can trigger somebody in Ghana. So again, I'm not dismissing what happened. I wasn't there and she has every right to feel the way she feels. But everybody needs to be mindful. If you're not Ghanaian and you want to move to Ghana, just make sure you know the culture, know how to, you know, talk to people and, you know, the little things that could really trigger people. Now, I hope that was just one situation that she, you know, experienced that yeah, this is not the norm for most people. Ghanaians are very, very welcoming people. But like I said, there are situations where somebody can be easily triggered and treat you a certain way. So just be mindful when, you know, you're interacting with people and how you do it. And I think she has um, spoken to a couple of people and they have also raise the same thing it's culture it's because of the cultural difference and she doesn't know some of these things but for me the advice that i'll give is 
she should try and do what learn the small small things that she doesn't know in our culture and inculcate that into the kids or perhaps yeah just inculcate that into the kids and let them know that this is a new environment this is a different country a different culture so they should know when they are going wrong like when they talk back at elderly people that's like kind of disrespect perhaps they can do that in in the house with their mother but when they step outside and they are dealing with Ghanaians especially the elderly because sometimes the younger ones don't really care that much you know but the elderly people they are like into the culture proper proper so these are some of the things that I think she should learn as a mom that is in Ghana or living in Ghana right now and inculcate that into the kids I think that will help a lot yes but the woman did not do well. I will emphasize on that. Pushing the kid was totally wrong. And this shouldn't happen to anybody. And also, the area she said, the area that she lives. I don't know where she lives, but you know, when you are living in an area that it's full of the local, 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 local people, definitely you are going to face some of these things. You understand? But when it is, uh, let's say, East Legon, Cantonment, Ridge, Trasaco, these areas, these are like rich neighborhoods and for them they don't really care about some of these things you know yeah so i think that also plays a part in whatever she's facing so if you're an african-american you know coming into ghana for me i will advise you should learn the culture learn like get to learn and know how to deal with ghanaians especially the elderly you know yeah thank you so much for watching